All right. So conveying a message about connecting to the divine. Some of that's so internal. There's so much to study, to figure it out. But when it happens from within, you can't study anything. It just happens. And then you put the pieces of your life together to make sense of what you know from inside. And that's the whole trust and surrender with the divine. Now, I want to come into a topic of soul culture, which through all the practices and then diving into a samadhi state from yoga, what did I realize there? Hmm. My active mind and my busy personalities and all the archetypes that exist in every human being give us many ways to look at ourselves every day and every hour in different moods. Coming into a soul culture is how we divide those moods and we come into a place where we see eye to eye, knowing that the soul reflects all these moods. And so our judgment drops further. Our business is better. Our reality is better. And then all the cultural aspects of what we are believing that separates us becomes aware through the soul that they're just different languages in different places on the earth and that we're all one. So let's talk a little bit about soul culture and what I wrote down here. All right. So in the areas of soul culture, soul is the inner reflection of the part of you that consists of your mind, character, thoughts, and feelings regarded as immortal. When we connect to the soul, to the spirit, it gains wisdom from the vastness of unknown sources. The vast unknown source energy applies its consciousness to the soul and upon hearing that wisdom the soul is guided back guided to create with others in life so the soul is an inner reflection of the part of you that consists of your mind character thoughts and feelings regarded as immortal so our immortal aspect of each other eternal aspect of each other takes away the whole divide of any trouble that we'd have to face every day what if we were focusing on that more and more and more where would we be in our mind? So meditators know already, that's what we focus on. Life becomes miraculous because we tend to flow with no problems, knowing that we've come to that place. But when we're in the linear aspect of the mind and we're focused on the problems and the competitions and the competitiveness and the judgment, we separate. So coming back to this idea of soul culture, Therefore, when culture is created from that awareness of what each soul learns with the vastness of spirit, we as humans reflect each other and share methods and activities of what we love. So that's happening already. We're all sharing. We have a different business, a name, an idea, a form, an exchange of energy, an exchange, exchange of money. Some have more money, some have less money. Some people need to learn from this person, that person. Sometimes it takes money to learn. Sometimes it's free. So in all reality of where we could find more happiness and less overuse of what we accumulate and what we create. And we could actually serve and help each other more. I believe that soul culture could be a great um, answer to a lot. To help the thriving of life, I have been guided to collaborate with others to share this idea of soul culture, to allow the mind to be mastered and observed as a gift of this sacred temple of our body. So if we were treating each other more sacredly, I've been guided through within and through spirituality um, and through um, work and business and meeting with people on a regular basis that this is actually what people are looking for. People are looking for a cultural experience where if it was another language or another art or another um, reflection of creativity, there wouldn't have to be so much of a divide between our cultural or our um, judgments of each other, that it would just be a human experience and another dimension of life to experience with culture, with the soul focus. So as many master methods of life, I contribute some reflections of tools that have helped me to stay aligned and listening to the wise mind spirit, where the methods from many masters can keep us in tune with the bigger picture of appreciation of life and its miracle to learn, listen, and love. So the key here is... What methods keep us in alignment with the soul? So culturally, our observation and our service to each other is more of the observation of the mind versus the separation of each other with the mind. And so in order to create a soul culture, we need soul methodologies in order to stay there because we've already created so much that divides us 
and overconsumes us that we also know the unnecessary suffering that comes from that. So how would we take that into retrospect of where religious um, beliefs come into um, our divides and timelines? We accept it all. That's what unity is all about. We accept that every ascendant master, every great master has merged into light, has understand the immortality of their soul. And we continue to do math methods that are serving conscious and helpful to each other. Live with soul culture, it roots the individual with acceptance versus comparison. It offers pure observation of this body, mind, with spirit, wisdom, to co-create togetherness, kind and grace, kindness and grace. So even the worst of the worst of minds, the ill of the illest minds, all have to find their way back to the soul somehow or other. That doesn't mean that there shouldn't be protection from evil. But there's definitely a lot more good on this earth, way more good on this earth that can be happening with the right mindset. So that's my take on soul culture. And that's also my take on, on the awareness of how that manifests in the life of somebody who does regular meditation, who is in the community sharing, um, who knows that when the divine sparks its light and it gets more fragrant and more fragrant and more powerful, people tend to feel it and want more attention there. But all they need to do is the same work. We all have the super consciousness in us. We all have the cosmic consciousness in us. So culturally and community based, we need to meditate together, pray together, look together, look into each other, cut the divides. How can we do that? We need methods for that. We need to do more methods together. We see it in sports. We can win together. We need to win the soul together. And that's my message of soul culture. That's an introduction to it. Hopefully you like that take on my perspective, but see it everywhere you go because everywhere you go, even if you're at a game or a mu music concert or everywhere you go, you're observing with your consciousness and that is connected to your soul. Namaste.